Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome in the farthest frontier. So today, as you can see in this episode, we got our village under attack again. Again, it's under attack. Nine riders, that's that's terrible. So we're gonna ring the bells. So our city is gonna go inside of the town center of the close point. Uh, this is our the name of our city. And uh, they're gonna get some weapons because if you're gonna face them straight away, we're probably gonna die. Probably we're gonna have a lot of casualties because, um, yeah, there are nine raiders, nine raiders, that's a lot. So I just ring the bells, uh, riders are attacking. Yeah, this is not looking very good, but we are getting inside of our city. Uh, oh wow, somebody died, oh no. We got those bells, uh, what's gonna happen then? Oh yeah, as you can see now we are f firing at them uh, when they are really close, so I can like grab the rest of guys and just try to attack those guys. They are close by. Because they're gonna focus on attacking my city town center. Okay, that's very good. So we're gonna kill one by one and there was one guy running like um, this direction where is he it's right in here he's dead okay that's perfect that's perfect so we're gonna attack this guy yeah those guys should go in here seriously very oh my goodness this is getting not very good in here in this situation uh well Okay, 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 he dead. Okay, those guys. Well, we're gonna try to attack this guy. And those guys are chasing this guy, those guys. Yeah, it was like a trap. He just uh, popped up from the house. Yeah, take that, take that. Yeah, he's dead. Very good. So, you know, we got, we are big in numbers, 64 by 64. So nobody died, I think. Is that it? I'm not sure. Do you see the riders? That's it, I think. Riders killed nine. Yeah, that's it. So that was successful, luckily. Yes, that was successful. So, you know, we want to level this terrain to make barracks. And thanks to that, we'll be able to get soldiers. Okay, so now it's leveled, so I hope, I hope that we're gonna be able to go to defenses and then barracks. Yes, now we can. As you can see, we got some information about the defense, um, I don't know, buffs, let's say. So if somebody's gonna attack from the left side, we can attack them with plus 15 power. I hope so, that this is what it means, but I'm not sure about it. So let's just make sure that we're gonna have connected road in here. Perfect. And because, as you can see at the top, we have only eight months of food. I don't know, is it enough or not? I don't know. So I just made additional fisher hut right in here. So we're going to have three in total. So increase the amount of fish that we can collect. And then in the right side in here, I placed the hunter's cabin because he's going to go and try to get those deers right in here. It's not so super far away. And then we have also forager. And she probably gonna go in here, maybe, to collect some, you know, some berries and stuff. Because we have here even the nuts. Yeah, plenty of nuts. Some berries, bushes, and other stuff. Hazel, hazelnut, even. Yeah, medicine roots, patch of herbs, plenty of that. And even bird nest. So birds. So some eggs. So I think that's gonna be perfect. And, of course, what do we have in here? Everything's under construction, so we're gonna be back once it's gonna be constructed. And I see one person died because of the illness, so still four people. Okay, let's double check. So, he is making pottery, that is correct, but you know what? I just checked and we are making iron ore, which means that it still cannot be used in here because we need here iron. So this need to be transformed to the iron bars 
and this can only probably be done in the tier 3. So this doesn't make sense. As you can see, we've got foundry and it is changing into the gold and also iron bars. And it requires heavy machinery, which is done in like blacksmith. So it doesn't make sense to actually have anybody in this house right now in the copper because he's not doing anything. So I'm just going to uh, turn him off slot disabled because there's no point for him to be in here. He's going to be used in somewhere else. So, you know, some designs are doesn't make sense, but, you know, it, this is early access. So I hope that they will fix it in the future updates, because right now you build like like this building. You cannot build the windmill because you don't have the materials which are unlocked in the tier three. So it doesn't make sense, but well, this is how it is. And to get to the number three tier, we're going to need 125 people, which means I'm going to need to place plenty of buildings because inside of the one building, you can have only four people. So yeah, 25 buildings needed. I have only 10 on the level two. So this means they're gonna need to upgrade, you know, those guys want to upgrade. And I just placed like three more buildings in here. So there's gonna be new houses, but we're still waiting for the wood and then also for the planks. So yeah, slowly, slowly, because those guys are right in here and I think that they cut it all the wood. There's no more wood in here, probably. That might be a problem, I think. So maybe I'm gonna reposition this to like to the left. Like in here, cut this area. And maybe we're gonna focus to have like more resources of the wood. Like cut three pieces of wood and then one. And we're gonna have four people. Yeah. That should be okay. That should be okay. And again, with the gold mine, we have it in here. Or you remember from the last episode, it is right in here. But again, it is making the resources gold ore. And it can only be transferred to the gold bars in next tier. So tier number three. So now I'll be waiting until this is going to be finished building and all this stuff. And I hope that we're going to have enough of the resources of any kind to survive another winters and so on and with the fields in here what i checked that we have also this guy so this is the maintenance and this will remove the rocks and probably get better quality of the ground so next season we're just gonna make try to make some maintenance and what i see uh, you know this is where we have the soil mixture right now so some of the let's let's uh, just remove here and i'm gonna show you on the so if we're gonna take beans if there are beans no what else yeah beans that's correct so as you can see if we're gonna make beans without any adjustments this is where it's gonna land so the white bar so it will be in the almost green territory so it is kind of kind of good uh, for this soil and we're gonna go this uh, you see it's gonna be in the red so that's not gonna be very efficient so for this territory it is not the best idea to get those kind of uh, uh, of crops but for example this so we got p p is perfect because i don't have to do anything i don't have to add any additional sand or clay to have always the green bar so this means that we have the maximum yield from these crops so that's why i had here uh, this cabbage because if you're gonna see if i'm gonna add cabbage no matter i don't have to do anything and it's still gonna be in the green uh, zone so for me, it's going to be pea and cabbage. And also, yeah, this is almost on the edge. On the edge. And so this is clover. So yeah, that's that's something like this. And as you can see in here, I don't know, I don't have the sand. So I am unable to get to this yellow level. So this is showing if I'm going to adjust. And right now I have zero. And I'm almost on the red. So that's why it is like sometimes there's an illness and it is not very efficient right now. So, you know, this is very interesting aspect of this. And with the defense structures, because if you're going to get those bars right in here, you know, they're going to protect this area from the attacks. And uh, as we saw before, they are also attacking attacking from this side. I don't know if it's going to change, but what if I'm going to place like the lookout tower because I did not make it before. And as you can see, we got those bonus uh, information. So the high ground is the good idea, like in the <laughs> Star Wars. It's over, Anakin! 
I have the high ground. So, as you can see, if I'm gonna place it on the flat, the bonuses to attack is like only plus two, plus one on the edge, and if they're gonna be in the water, it's plus six. But in here, we're gonna just gonna cover the whole ground right in here, and we're gonna have plus ten. So that will be, or oh, even this, this should be the best place where we have the tree. Yeah, that's gonna be the perfect. So we're gonna have the watchtower also in here. I'm gonna invest in that because we need to make sure that you know they're not gonna kill us really easy. Uh, so let's connect this to this road connection. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Oh my goodness, look at this! The new villagers just arrived and one of them was educated, which means that we have first teacher in our school. We're gonna name him the wise man. Yes, this is the wise man. Yes, that's very good. He will teach our children. So they're gonna be educated finally. This is super awesome. The wise man is working here. Traveling this is 100%, but he's just uh, approaching the work place. What is he doing? Shelter stocking. Okay, because you know. But yeah, we're gonna need more housing for them. Yes, look at him. I hope that the kids gonna show up in here, maybe? Or maybe not. We have no information how many kids are inside. But let's just hope that he gonna make good stuff with them. Yay, and we got this. Yes, so we got barracks. This is super awesome, which means that we can have soldiers. How many soldiers are we gonna have? I don't know. Does it change anything? Do we have bigger upkeep or something like that? Uh, not sure. Let's say that we're gonna take like four. Or what about five? Maybe six. Six soldiers will be okay. I think so. He's seeking weapons, okay, so he gonna get the weapons, I hope so. And what else do we have in here? Flag combat area. What does it mean? So they're gonna like approach this area territory to attack? Maybe. Uh, they are trained and housed in the barracks, which also serves as a defense structure. Soldiers are needed to deal with more heavily armored attackers and siege rams. Siege rams, oh my goodness. That's gonna be crazy. But because they're gonna live in here, does it mean that we are increasing the amount of... We got 16 kids in here. Two infants. We need more houses for sure. So this is super awesome, we got this done. So this is the defensive structure. Let's just hope, yeah, as you can see, we got some dummies outside so they can train. Once they're gonna pop up in here, we're gonna see how they are training, hopefully. Or, oh, they are going in here. So there are our soldiers. Just double check. Okay, they're like buffed <laughs> a little bit. So they are going to the location they uh, set up. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. They're just gonna go in here and wait. Okay, so it's like the expedition point. If you're gonna have like bears or maybe wolves or something like that. So they gonna attack. Okay, what how can I clear? Uh return to barracks, yes. You can return here, train maybe. So four are already in here, they got the weapons. Okay, are they gonna train outside? No. I'm demanding too much, I think. So, as you can see, the thing is that he has no melee weapon. But he has the bow, so this is good. Uh, so, we got like two archers and two me melee attackers, so that's it. Alright, so this is very awesome, very awesome, very good looking. Yes, this is very good that we have this. Uh, so, we got this defensive structure and we are almost done with this, almost. Ah. Maybe it's too soon to say because it's gonna require a lot, a lot of wood. And still, I'm gonna need to build this house. So let's uh, priority. This house is completed. So we got full inside in here. And what about Pablo? Pablito? Let's check. Pablito, he's right now 18, 
and he is gathering the ore he is working in the gold mine <laughs> okay so he's going for some gold for us worn shoes oh he needs some better clothes wetter shoes happiness is kind of okay diet is 60 percent warmth yeah health 100 percent good job pablo keep up some give us some more gold please that will be great uh, so yeah we are missing some weapons maybe maybe i'm gonna buy some from the traveler in the trading post but i don't think so because it's cost like millions of coins and we don't have that kind of money all right so we got our lookout tower look at this very nice uh, so we got additional you know way to defend ourselves from those bandits and riders so it is right in here we got one person that is inside and i think that she's not a soldier uh, she's like i don't know she's like a guard because there are two types of soldiers there are guards and those guys are soldiers yeah occupation soldier and here she occupation have guard okay so as you can see she got hide code bow but she does not have any weapon because weapons are available in the tier number three and to get to that tier number three we gotta need plenty of plenty new villagers 125 uh, to be exact 125 so we are like halfway halfway so that's gonna take me a lot and then we're gonna need 25 buildings that's a lot that's really 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 a lot and what is this they don't have happiness because they don't have clothes clothes are still under construction yeah a lot of materials needed and with the happiness there was like the service which was the pub school pub rat catcher cost money oh my god it's minus 39 soldier training minus 60. Ooh. Ooh. so uh, not very good we are losing money so this is something that I did not know. So this means that we're going to need to expand quicker <laughs> to support this amount of soldiers. Because right now uh, we cannot co afford them. So I don't know. It is right now 60. It's still 60. Now we're going to see. I'm going to keep like four soldiers right now. Because that was too many, we're gonna see if this will up update later on. Or if not, if then <laughs> we're gonna have some problems. Uh, yeah, they cost money. That's that's a problem. We need the way to get some money, and this means that we're gonna need more buildings that will be able to upgrade to the higher tier. So this means that we're gonna need more houses, more houses, more people, more you know money. So yeah, unfortunately, yes, I'm gonna destroy this bash, and yes, I'm gonna destroy this as well. Look at this, we got teddy bear, teddy bear in here. So I just spot him. So this he is really close, and I had to reduce the amount of soldiers to two. Now the monthly cost is twenty. I don't know if I will have enough money <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> but right now I'm just gonna. Uh, say go soldiers in here and try to attack small bear yeah we're gonna have some additional food i think or something like that you know did this the threat he maybe attacked me oh yeah he's here right here so what are the soldiers yeah they are right in here and we're gonna attack teddy bear attack teddy bear from the distance with the arrows yes yes attack And he's dead. That's perfect. That's good. That is super awesome. Uh, shift, click, and return to your barracks. Perfect. Because, uh, well, I was thinking that this is the thread because I want, you know, additional party to extract wood. Because I have plenty of problems with wood and it's time to solve it once for all. So if we're going to go to the resources, we're going to go to the workers camp. And I'm just going to build a workers camp right in here. Far away, of course, but yeah, it's going to be next to this uh, this other camp with the hunter cap. 
or maybe right in here and then we're gonna have the road right in here something like this perfect and they just gonna go you know and cut the trees right in here nothing bad gonna happen and i'm just gonna extend this road right in here to connect with this road just like that yeah so that's the idea and i built the barn right in here but there's nobody in here because there's no point because i don't have any animals uh, to hurt the animals and get the resources like the cheese tallow milk and meat and even the heights belts so there's no point for me to have anybody inside of this building in here charcoal I, it was working for a few seconds uh, i amassed like 20 of yeah 20 of coal and because it is using the firewood to produce uh, the charcoal i don't want to use the firewood because it is needed for the winter so again i just stop to have anybody in here and then yeah we are waiting yeah oh yes this is good we got the forger shack and i want him to actually collect everything from this area well, we have the eggs even in here and the eggs are in here Yeah, that should be okay. That should be perfect. Like this. So from this area, he's gonna collect this. It's really close. Uh, in here we have the herbs also. Willow bush. But I think this is collected by this lady. Yeah, really close. So he's gonna go and collect right there. If not, I have this space as well. And once they're gonna build this, we're gonna have additional hunter because... We have only five months for the food so you know i need to make sure that we're gonna survive any winter any problems that maybe we will have minus one with the money soldier training cost me minus 28 uh, it's like uh, sometimes they are training sometimes they are not if they are garrisoning, uh, garrisoning so this means that they are training and this will cost me the upkeep of 20 in here as you can see and the recruitment cost is 50 50 coins so that's a lot so right now i can only afford two soldiers that's still okay i think uh, because we got one guard in here yeah she does not cost extra upkeep and anything like that but she requires the bows and weapons so she got this what we had and i see that there's nobody in here so we're gonna make sure that we got the fisherman this is very important and this is, should also be priority yeah small, small steps small steps but once it's gonna be finished everything should be run smoothly and what about the graveyard seven people yeah there are a lot of illnesses seven for 400 we're gonna see when we're gonna fill it to the maximum level that's getting crazy well it is almost done four three two one yes perfect so we got this he doesn't have the arrows and the bow but he'll have it and i'm just gonna mark it because there was like yeah we have the deer right in here we have the deer right in here so he can go in here and hunt for the deers that will be perfect so this is additional source of food you know this is very good this will be finished yeah this should be okay and then once i'm gonna upgrade not so far away 82 to 96 uh, and we gotta need to build the pub don't forget about this pub let's go to the pub services and there's a pub and again pub will increase look at this the radius is really huge so i could even place the pub like in the middle yeah, i think that should be okay so a lot of buildings will have 30 percent so maybe they're gonna upgrade we're gonna see so yeah, this is uh, the place where we're going to have the pop. So I'm going to just move those cards a little bit more of the way. Please go. And yeah, I'm going to harvest this to clear the road. And maybe I'm just going to connect this with the road right in here. Yeah, that's the plan. So the riders are attacking once again, but this time, as you can see from this side, so they are smart, they're not going to use the same uh, approach as they did last time. So I'm just going to, you know, I turn on the bells so everybody should go inside of the main building. 
run away, please. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen because... Yeah, I'm gonna see which way they're gonna go. I'm just gonna try to follow them. And check. Oh! Those are my soldiers fighting. Or maybe not. She's uh, just a guard. Where are those guys? Let's just double check. They are inside. So I want them to go and fight in here. There we got the soldiers. Okay, this is good because now we can actually use all the forces that we have. We got the fire from the town hall. So now we're just gonna go and attack one by one. Trying to you know, get those guys. It's not going very good. <laughs> Where are the soldiers? Are they much better? Okay, the, that's a good shot. I mean, there's a guy right in here. Attack him. Very good. So... Four of us have the wounds. What are the rest of the bandits? It's hard to follow. I think that's... That's it or not? Where are the rest? I don't see. Oh, yeah, there's a... No, there's nobody. I think that this is the end, yeah. So we survived. So this is good. This is very good. And as you can see, now we don't have a problem with the locks. Because of this space. So yes, we got the workers camp and they are clearing this area. Getting us more wood. Which is super awesome, of course. And yeah, I'm gonna shift click. Uh, there's no point anymore okay and uh, yes so you know i'm slowly developing if i'm gonna press g you will see that 40 deservability is in the center here we have 31 22 only 32 34 32 and i am using this so this is the small garden because this does not cost any money i'm gonna go to the decoration you'll see that this only cost uh, planks and uh, stone that's it the other Things cost the money and well they're not so super efficient at this one village was raided yes uh, killed raiders 11 from 14 so okay so they may come back in numbers and as you can see we got problems with food only one ton of food left even the fact that I have like more guys in here so three and then we got the new hunter right in here Maybe I'm going to make another hunter cabin, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, with the population, it's not so bad, but upgrading those buildings, that's a big challenge because, you know, they need to have this desirability to level 30. So, for example, in here we have 29 and 23. So I'm building one small garden and you will see the yeah, this is increasing the to 29. And now if I'm going to go build one more, you see that the desirability will be 31 in here. And of course we got the pub. Yes, we got the pub right in here as you can see. And inside we got Viola, beautiful Viola. She's 32 years old. Well, that's okay. And we don't have beer because beer is unlocked in the next stage. So tier number 3. Again, weird. Uh, this is not even giving me any money because she's not selling beer because we cannot produce it. So again, this is weird design. They need to rethink the tier system for some buildings because it doesn't make sense. In here, as you can see, we got the soap. Soap shop right in here. Yes, they are making the soap outside of the building. So this will make them a little bit more cleaner. Less maybe illnesses, I hope so. So I hope that they will use the soap. We got two people working here. I think that's, that's okay. And in here, we got the candle shop. I have to move it a little bit. And he is making candles. 
I don't know what's the, I know, the positive outcome of having candles, except from the light, of course. But we're gonna see in the future if I will notice the information about the bonuses from the candles. So yeah, we got this. I had to move also this this barn because it is giving you the red radius. As you can see, really red. It was in here and it was affecting those buildings. So I have to move it. Uh, as you can see, I'm not sure if this is giving the red radius or not. Something is giving the red radius right in here. Uh, this was the soap shop. So if I'm gonna go and take the for the resources. Uh, we're gonna try to find the soap shop. Yes. Yes, this is the red radius. So this is also decreasing the desirability, which means that I need to move this house somewhere, somewhere else. And as you can see, once it's built, I'm checking the desirability. It's 25, so I need to make it once again, because I don't know if there's a, some kind of bug. If you will place too many, it will not. Uh, show the proper value, but I'm not sure this is uh, correct. Uh, so again, I'm gonna go small garden, and this will increase to 26. You see if there is no information about the change. So I will try to make small garden here, 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 whatever I can, until I'm gonna get 30 and 30 bonus in those two buildings. And yeah, I'm doing this all the time until I'm gonna have 25 of buildings. So this is crazy. Crazy now, 17 from 25, so I'm closer and closer, but yeah, I'm checking all the time, like, in here. This is gonna be the pain, because this building is only 22, and if I'm gonna check, uh, where will have the effect? Okay, this is the last one, that's good, so I'm gonna make, like, the huge row until we're gonna get to 30. So yeah, one, one by one, one by one, on this side, this is 29, oh, come on, 29? That is not bad. So yeah, another beautification right in here. It's gonna be 30. Yes, that is correct. So that's gonna be another building. So <laughs> let's double check 36, 35. So those buildings gonna be one and two. This is problematic. So I'm gonna need to move this house. Yeah, for sure. I need to move it. So the soap factory will be like in here. Yeah, I think so. And just end to just extend the road. Perfect. So we're gonna have the soap factory right there. So this will reduce and maybe this will increase a little bit this shelter. And then I will try to make some beautification in here. Maybe I'm gonna change the road. So that's gonna be it for today. Let me just change the view so you will see how this looks right now. We're gonna turn off the... Yeah, that's perfect. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's episode. We're gonna continue in the next tier. So, you know, I'm gonna spend a lot of time till I'm gonna get all those buildings. That's gonna take a lot of time. But thanks to that, you will see the tier 3 and we're gonna have everything. So probably like two more episodes and we're gonna finish all the series with all the buildings and everything that is available in this game right now because this is early access game, as you remember. Alright, so that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me and I hope that we're gonna have well, that we're gonna meet each other next time. So, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. And if you're watching this at night, then good night. <laughs> See you next time.